Welcome back Team Fever, back again with another video. And today I'm here with Alexis <laughs> and Nadia. And today we're back with one of y'all favorite segments where we take a trend or a saying that is tired and we tap it up. We're putting these trends out of their misery. Nadia, I would love to do the honors because this tap out irks me so bad that when it happens, I get irritated and I am a loud, outspoken person. So I always say something. It's cutting people off or when they're in the middle of a conversation, button in. Stay away, because I was not talking to you. And let me finish my sentence before you speak. Tap out. So Nadia. Oh yes. You better not cut me off. Now, that's what I do. When somebody, uh, was I talking to you? No. What if it's a three-person conversation and somebody? If it's a three-person conversation and Alexis is in the middle of talking and somebody joins in, I would be oh, like. Oh, somebody outside. Yeah. I'm somebody, talking about yeah. what if it's oh, a three-person no, conversation. If it's a three-person conversation else and she cut me off, I'm like, I was talking. <laughs> that that's what it happens. Like he just cut me off then. I feel like I, that I feel like that never happened, Nadia. Cause when we had discussions, we cut each other off. Yeah, all but the time. Like a, it's like a debate. Like <laughs> debates are yeah, like me off. intense. I, I always cut Alexis off. But like, don't join. We all cut each other off. That's what I'm saying. <laughs> yeah, when we do this, we cut each other off a lot. So that's why I think it's a contradiction that you tap. Me. No, but in real life, outside of these videos, if you cut me off, I would have an instant attitude. Okay. Okay. Or if you're outside of joining in my conversation, I will stop you right there because no one was talking to you. Tap out. I agree with you, Nadia. Me too. This week. I love how y'all always agree with my tap out. I agree with his, and then hers. Nobody agrees ever. Yes, but this week I would like to talk about something that is so 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 stupid to me that everyone does. It's just it's been going on since uh, since the beginning of the time, and I just I think it's funny, but I also think it's just it's time to get rid of it. Let's just stop doing it. I mean, it was I get like a lot of people do it, but you know. Let me tell you what I'm talking about. What I'm talking about is when you're on the phone with someone and they say, all right, I'll call you back. You know you're not gonna call you back. I saw this meme online a couple days ago where it said, um, I'm from the United States where you can say, I'll call you back and the other person is perfectly fine with that meaning. Enjoy the rest of your day. <laughs> no, just say that. Enjoy the rest of your day. Say bye. Say just end the conversation. Don't say I'll call you right back. Just because you know you're not going to do it. So. Well, you know what? I think sometimes when people say that I'm going tap to tap out, back, <laughs> tap out, you just cut him off. <laughs> <laughs> they actually mean I'm going to call you back, and sometimes they just get so wrapped mm -hmm. up. You know, they don't necessarily mean. Because sometimes I sense. say, I'll, yeah, I'll call you back. No one. My intentions is. To carry on with my day, but other, I don't Alexis, know what you're saying. I get that you like to play devil's advocate, but <laughs> obviously I'm not talking about somebody that's really mean. Um, <laughs> I got another call. Somebody just called me on the other line. I'll call you right back, and then they forget. I'm not talking about Have that. Have you seen the meme like where they say they're gonna call you back, and they actually call you back? Yes. And you're shocked? Yes, you be like sometimes I have my like, oh you call me back. Me personally, when I'm on the phone with some with a friend, if my friend called me in the middle of a day or something like that and I'm not doing nothing, I don't got nothing to do, and we have a conversation, I just keep going. I never say bye. I never say bye. I expect them to say it. Cause I don't know. I'm just that type of I think person. we we've been on the phone I only think once I was on the phone for like an hour. I don't think it's a I'll call you back. Yeah, catch you during my next video or you know. Me? Yes. I said that? Yes. We, we was on the phone for at least an hour. Maybe in some change. Okay, but look, if, if it gets to nobody's talking, then I'm, I'm going to say, all right, bye. <laughs> I mean, all right. Yeah. But if somebody called me and we having a conversation for a while, I'm probably not, I'm probably never going to say bye. I'm expecting you to end the conversation because you started. I think I've ended our conversation like, well, all right, Lorenzo. Yeah. I'll, I'll see you during your next video. Or... I like that. Something like talk that. Talk to you later. Even say talk, talk to, to you later. Talk to you later is so much better than I'll call you back. Because you're not calling me back. Talking to you later means I might actually talk to you sometime later. Later being a couple days. No, but I no. say that. I say that all. Well, like when somebody leaves, like when y'all leave, I'm like, all right, see you later. See you later. I always say see you later. You don't know when you're going to see them, but you know you're yeah. going to see them later on in life. Bye. Mom tells me 
not say bye, just say see you later because it's like, you know. At the end of each video, Alexa says bye. Bye, <laughs> right, bye. Just <laughs> play a whole clip of her saying bye, oh, yeah. bye. Yeah, but. But she um, does. She but, tells me not people. You know? Yeah, I, I agree with that it's better to not say bye. But, um, what was my top out again? <laughs> call you back. Call you right back. Um, I'll call you right back. I think that is tired. And it's been going on since the beginning of time. It's time to tap out. Alexis. Okay. <laughs> so this week, I'm tapping out people who think that others who have tattoos are like delinquent or like they don't really care. Like they, you know, basically discriminating against people who have tattoos. Okay? You guys agree? No. Cause I don't judge nobody if they got tattoos. No, 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 no. I judge somebody. No, but them. she she tapping out people yeah, that like, do. No, 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 no. I'm tapping out people who I didn't discriminate know people, against. I don't. People I didn't know people still tattoos. did that. Even like yeah, I 100% agree with Nadia. Like, nah, yeah. like yeah. I don't know yeah. anybody. Like this is the age of tattoos. Yeah, so like if anybody yeah. don't do that, face, they're lame. And on their neck. And yeah, I mean you don't know. Yeah, my I personally like yeah, my preference is I just did my own tattoo. Yeah, Nadia, okay, you just tap. Go ahead. I chop out my tap. I just did my own. Just let her finish, then we talk about it. All right, go ahead. Dang, y'all. Anyway, I'm tapping out people who discriminate against others because of their their tattoos. Now I understand that you know tattoos, which still happens, believe it or not. But you know tattoos on their face and on their neck, hands, feet, whatever, wherever you have your tattoo. I think that it's okay, even if you are in like I don't know an executive position. I think it's okay. Yeah, I think it's okay to have tattoos on your face. Like, as long as they're not, like, going across your forehead or down your cheeks or so something. So, where is it? Yeah, you just come to the you What are you going to do? What are you going to do? On your nose? Like, this, this is a face tattoo. No, yeah, that's behind your ear tattoo. It's on like your face. face. Oh, no, no, it's not. Your face, your face, is, face is, is this. This your is ear not is not your part face. of your face. So y'all gonna let me finish my tap out or not? But it don't. No, it don't, it don't it make don't sense. This ain't your face. Okay, okay, okay. <laughs> start over. We still gonna stick with tattoos. She tattoo. said tattoos okay. on the face is okay as long as it's not on your forehead, your cheeks, your nose, your chin. <laughs> well, I count this as your. This is this is oh. my face. My ears are look, my face. Look before you look before your ears start. That whole circle is your face. So, so your ear and behind is not your what's face. Your, what's your ear is a part of your neck? Your ear is a part of your neck, Nadia? It's a part of your skull. <laughs> I don't know. I don't know. I think a ear is part of your face. I think it's, it is. But not behind it. I, I don't know. People get tattoos in their ears, too. Nadia, but Alexis, okay. We know what you're tapping out. I disagree with it. Okay. <laughs> You'll be back probably next week or the week after. It's so funny. Cause I just never ever agree with you. <laughs> that is so funny. But I'm just saying, if you got tattoos like on your forehead and stuff, I'm 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 gonna judge you. I'm judging you. I'm gonna judge you. Because you should not I have think, no corporate job. It, yeah, you're not gonna I don't think you can get anywhere. Hey guys, you really can get a McDonald's. I was tapping, I was saying that it's, listen, I don't care what biology class you take, they're gonna tell you that your ears are a part of your face, and it's, it's not on your neck. So okay, okay. That was a part of the old system. Which means, well, old system, the human body is not old. No, no I like, said discussion. Old, but, listen, okay, your ears is part of your face. I think that it's okay to have ear tattoos and still have corporate, corporate jobs and stuff, like executive positions, because I think tattoos now is, you know, kind of like, Genie from the real set, they're accessories, and obviously you have makeup that can cover them up, and you know, just like different stuff that you can do in case you are like I don't know, maybe it's a tattoo of a gun or something like that that probably shouldn't be shown. You can cover that up in that place, but if it's just like I don't know, a flower or a name or something symbolic to the extent of like religion or something like that, I think it's okay. I think that you would still, you should still be able to get executive positions and you know, high-end jobs. So I'm tapping out people discriminating against others for having face, AKA ear tattoos. Alexis. No. Alexis, so if, if Obama had a tattoo behind his ear, you think Do you Listen, we already Obama? established that as a president, you're automatically held to a higher standard anyway. Okay, I so, so if you're a CEO. Had, 
a earring in his ear because he is the leader of the entire wait, wait, wait. Wait, world wait, down there. But like you said a, C a CEO. If you made your own company, you can do whatever you want because you're the boss. Yeah. Say, say you're a CEO of a different, of somebody else's company. You're not going to get the job, period. You're not. They so gonna, like, you're going to turn around to shake somebody's hand and... Is that a star in your ear? Like, I don't know. And like, you said face. You should have said, like, on the side. like. Or if you got a teardrop on your, on your face, face and you're trying to go for a high-end company, no, but no that's are you going to cover it up with makeup every like, single like day? I always say, there are limitations and exceptions to everything. No, obviously, I'm saying, right. so if a you, means that you kill somebody, so obviously right. you want to so say, that. Let's say you still, you got that teardrop on your face, right? Okay. But you still, you got goals. You went to school. You got a degree. But you got a teardrop on your face because you're still a thug or whatnot. Too what are you going to do? Cover it up with makeup every single day of your job? You could. Jeannie from The Real, she has mm -hmm. tattoos all up and down every, basically every part of her body. She covers them. But wait, look what her job is. It's she is a, at the a same TV time. host. Her job was a makeup artist, actually. She was behind the scenes. She just so happened to get a job on um, the real. real and she said she covers them up and when she was explaining that she covered them up mm -hmm. we could not see them she was like i have a lot i have a lot i have them all over but i cover them up okay so we and couldn't see them pay close attention to her in different like segments and shows and stuff she lets certain ones show because they are ex and not on her face you tell no well hey i tapped out the ones i can't do you know what me neither i can't i can't deal with it well, unless this guy get a tattoo out. on your face then and I get your nose on your face this yes, you i did on your ear did i not say y'all are about to make me so mad I said this on your not ear. Said, she said on you your... said on your face, and then we had a whole discussion about if the ear was a part of your face. And I also said exception. Like I on your can't deal. That's what with I was Alexis. saying. Tap out the song. I tap out Alexis. I tap out Alexis. Alexis, I'm tapping on Alexis and all her tap outs. They're because all every all. single tap out since her very first tap out, have I have been, been tapped back, back in. in. Friends with benefits. So, what is it? My tap out is friends with benefits. Okay. Oh. No, she didn't. No, she didn't. Bay. I think should be tapped out is all disrespect to women in all types of different ways. For instance, calling a girl that you're really fond of Bay. If we're dating. Tap in. Tap in. Pajamas. I go out in my pajamas quite frequently, and I don't think I'm gonna stop because. What time of day do you Jesus face Christ. tattoos? Like, are you kidding me? Ear, ear, the ear is a part of the face. Okay. That's a face tattoo. We ear tattoos face. are okay. <laughs> yeah, but y'all talking about a teardrop. I'm not talking about on your cheek or on your forehead or something it's like that. It's still a part of your face. That is your face. Okay. This is your face. Let's okay. specify. Having a tattoo on your ear is acceptable to me. So get one. I would. I most definitely would. Why are you being at that news station? What do you think they're going to say? Listen, you guys, I understand I'm entry level, but I also have this nose ring hanging out my freaking nose. We're talking about that too. It's the same thing. No, it's, it's the not. Same no, thing. no, it's a not. A tattoo is permanent. <laughs> a piercing you can get rid of. A tattoo is permanent to a certain extent, but you can also get those removed as well. And they are also covered by makeup, which kind of makes them kind of unpermanent because you can hide them. Like it's like a piercing. You but can take you, your piercing. You chopped off people discriminating and judging. They can discriminate and judge because I'm, I'm still, still gonna do it. Gonna. If you got it on your face, I I'm gonna. And if I don't you have get, to judge you, you, and when you get your tattoo, tattoo on your neck, I'm judging. I'm Simple judging. Okay, that. let's clarify. Not say my neck. I said my ear. Behind your ear. What? What is this part? What is that? It's this, part of your face. This this behind your ear <laughs> is considered your neck. It's considered. Your neck. I don't. Behind your ears, consider your neck. I don't really We know. need a biology teacher. Or you just need me to clarify. No, you're not right. Or you just need Alexis tap out to just be dismissed. I don't think, or right, if you had a tattoo behind your ear, I don't think you're gonna. I don't think you're gonna get a job as a teacher. I don't think you're gonna get a job as a lawyer. I don't think you even go get a job as a um as a social worker, a psychiatrist, a therapist. I don't think you get none of those jobs. So that's just my opinion. But that's it for the 
this week's video, guys, be sure to leave a like, comment, subscribe, and share this video on all forms of social media. For... And make sure to tell us whether or not the ear is considered a part of your face or your neck. For Nadia, for Alexis, and for Mike. Catch you later.